This afternoon, me and Winter have a meeting. Apparently, misfits have a massive opportunity for us. Oh, hey. Hi. You okay? So, Ooh. this is Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Hi, you okay? You don't know her, but you know a brand, Secret Diva. Mandy already does brushes, she does lashes. Um, she is interested in getting Winter involved and releasing a baby lip balm range. Oh my god. With are Winter you as the face of it. Winter, do you want your own lipstick range? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, she's bringing out a new range of like lip glosses. Amazing. Um, looking for someone to be the face of that. <laughs> Who could that be? And oh, wait, also, so me? Yeah. Oh my god, what the hell? What's yeah. happening? Not only are we doing lip lines, Mandy wants us to be brand ambassadors. And I'll have to do posts at set times for her lashes and brushes. I better set an alarm because I'm really bad at my timekeeping. I'll probably be sacked in a week or two. Initially, we're talking three months, £10,000. Oh my god, okay. £10,000? That is amazing. I can't believe that me and Winter are a face of a makeup brand. Give me money. <laughs> Money. Okay. Yeah. All the big baby brands are there. Burger Booth, Baby RS, Baby Beyond. It's just such a great opportunity for Baby and Trent to actually make their mark. This baby show is an incredible opportunity for Baby on Trend. It's got 24,000 people here every day, along with some of the most established names in the industry. Leticia will need to work really hard to stand out. Hi. Hiya. You okay? Hi. I've asked Sean from the office to go, along with another of my existing clients, to help her out. Do you know what the stock room is? Yes. But in it there. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, did you bring a steamer? I said to Luke to bring a steamer. We're going to have creased clothes. We're going to bring it, sorry. There's a steamer, brother. There's then. a steamer? Yeah. Sean, oh, you're causing me stress. Oh, Everyone else at the show is all set up and they look proper professional. We, on the other hand, look like total amateurs. Luke, it's half past ten, okay, and we're sitting on the stall. Sean's steaming clothes. He hasn't brought me the price list. There's no stock here. Like, we've got like six items up on the railings. Like, it's, it's just a shambles. <laughs> that Luke is ignoring me and I just feel really overwhelmed. On top of everything, I've got hardly any stock. Luke sent all the bigger sizes, and I just feel disappointed, to be honest. Like, I really wanted to use this baby show to show off the new range, and it's just turning into a massive flop. Honestly, it's just, it's just embarrassing. I've come to a baby show, and I've got five-year-olds closing and six-year-olds. It's just so embarrassed. This is just embarrassing. Not only were we late from the stall up, nobody's interested in the clothes. I'm just so worried that my products can't compete with these other brands. Yeah. When I'm stressed, it can be really nice to get back to Wales. So I'm taking Winter and Ben back to my old stomping ground in Port Albert. When I was a reality TV star, I released a book called Wait For It. Valued. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's where mum used to live. At the end of the book, I said that I would love to have a baby with Ben, and it happened, so it's really nice for them to come home with me. Can you see Nana? She's over there, look. Now that my life's changed so much, Luke seems to think it'd be a good idea to get some new chapters written in the book, and the publishers have agreed that they may update it in the future. So I'm meeting with Alyssa, the woman who helped me write the original book, so she can start working on some new material. What's the brand that you've come up with? Oh, so Baby on Trend. Right. Um, it's basically just like a children's clothing wear. Because I thought, like, I need something secure that Winter could take on when she's older. Yeah. She has literally changed my life for the better. Like, she, she's my best friend, my everything. Um, why am I crying? Oh, uh. so <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice. such a cry baby, I'm shit. <laughs> Coming home to Wales really puts things into perspective for me. Like, I'm so proud of how far already I've come. Just a couple of years ago, I was working in a fish shop, I was partying every weekend, and I didn't care about anything. But now I've got this beautiful daughter, and I no longer have fish grease in my hair.